Hi, I'm Michael Palazzolo with the LSU Ag Center, and today I wanted to visit with you about pinguiculas or butterworts, which are a type of carnivorous plant. When most people think of carnivorous plants, they think of Venus flytraps, which are great plants, but they're sometimes not the best for beginners. I really like pinguicula for someone who hasn't grown carnivorous plants because they have a fairly low maintenance protocol and can almost be grown like a standard house plant. They go through two significant stages in their life cycle. They have a active growing phase and then they have a winter succulent phase. Now on their winter succulent phase you're going to want to keep them a tad bit drier. Now, don't let them dry all the way, that could be a little extreme, but in their active summer growing phase you actually want them to have free use of water. You don't want water level all the way up because that can encourage root rots, but somewhere about a third to a half can be a good balance because they don't really use the, their roots for active, active water uptake. They're mainly just to hold themselves in place. Now, pinguiculas come in a multitude of forms and colors. I really like kind of the smaller, very succulent forms, but then there's Gigantea, which is one of the larger forms now, I will say in the larger forms, they tend to cycle through leaves. Carnivorous plants do go through their specialized leaves and structures much quickly, and you're going to want to remove them once they're dried down just to keep them looking in their best shape. They do make nice violet-like flowers. Normally when they're flowering, it means they're happy and they're getting plenty of mineral nutrition either through foliar fertilizer or catching insects and that means they'll be healthy enough to start attempting division. They also can be propagated like succulents through leaf cuttings and that can happen naturally when their leaf is in contact with a moist substrate like this one did here. So there's a, all types of colors. I really am partial to the purples and reds but the most common ones are going to be green. So there's going to be something out there for everyone. Do some research and make certain it fits in your houseplant setup. They are going to like active light, so don't have it too dark. And just be sure to modify your water seasonally.